yeah, it's been difficult for Jack because Basham's been been up there, but Basham needs to recognise Bash needs to recognise that he needs to keep his performances at a top draw um, because you know we need that competition. And Jack's been pushing. He plays the city midfield player can play right of a right of a three. Um, so his performances around the place have been good. So there's an opportunity for him to play, um, and um, he's in my thought process as well. Um, so which which they all are. They, they all have to be. All have to be in 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 the mix to play. And uh, and Jack's been good. Has, has Jack Rodwell got a, a longer term future at the club, or is that something you're still thinking about? Just trying to think about getting through this period. There's always mid, medium and long term situations, but I'm not going to come out and speak to yourselves about um, about the retainer list or who we're offering contracts to or who we're not. You know, I think as you can respect all uh, all our efforts are, are going from Sunday afternoon at, at Burnley, uh, to getting 47 points to 48 points. To, to, to taking that total to somewhere else, ideally 51, uh, 49 would be great, um, I, but I don't want to be stuck on 48 points and, um, and the players don't. Um, so if we put a performance in and we concentrate on what's ahead of us because of the schedule that is, I think that's the biggest, the, the biggest situation that I need to deal with. We talked a little bit about John Egan scoring at the weekend, his, his first of the season. You thought he, he should have had 10 already. How, how do you get your defenders scoring a little bit more? Is it about individual responsibility or is there something as a, as a team that you can do a little differently? No, we do the maximum as a team uh, in terms of the setups of the, of the set plays. The delivery is good. It's just technique and quality now and having, having the balls to when you're in a position of, of pressure to stick the ball in the back of the net. You know, John's technically a good player and I think you'll recognise that you know he should be scoring more and um, whether it's him Jack or Bash they've all been in good positions and now that is down to individual quality being nice and calm taking uh, the uh, the right technique picking the right run timing of everything it all comes with that but there's enough work that goes on in the training ground to put us in those positions we put them in those, those positions now they've got to come up with the goods so whether it's practice on the training ground, which they do, they're involved in finishing sessions, or just sometimes, you know, having um, the clinical aspect of their game to to uh, to put the the final touch to uh, to a set piece. I've always talked about set pieces as as quite important because to get to the position that we get to um, takes something, um, and then. You're not just in that those positions of getting six or seven corners uh, by chance. And then when you do, there has to be organisation. There has to be thought in terms of the runs that they make and, and what we see in, in, in different oppositions to, to capitalise on that. And, you know, we have had down between the, the three centre-halves, from a statistical point of view, where we want to be, we want those boys to be scoring between eight and ten between them. And I don't think that's a big ask. So that's something that we definitely need to improve on and the boys need to improve on next year. Were you surprised to see Wolves lose at home to Arsenal at the weekend or is just that a, a show of how far they've come, really? I'm not surprised at any... any um, I'm, surpri you know, I'm not surprised at any, any result in the Premier League. You know, it's, um, that's, that's the nature of the, uh, of, of, of the division. Um, for us to get our results, we've surprised a load of people. But I'm I'm not surprised because of the performances of what 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 we've put in. Um, you know, regarding Wolves' situation, they've done brilliantly. They're in a position of of what what they on 52 points is a great return from a really powerful football club. They've got a pack full of international players, um, some big money players there that are coveted by other teams. So it's another huge cha challenge ahead of us. But you know, Arsenal aren't bad as well. Uh, they're a decent side. Uh, an historic football club in 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 in, uh, in this country. So surprised Arsenal have won at Wolves. How far Wolves have come, you know, it's um, it can be can be debate, debated both ways. What's impressed you most about uh, Wolves this season? Because it's it's easy to forget it's their second season back in the Premier League. Obviously finishing seventh last season. I don't go along as if they're a newly promoted side. Because they were they were a Premier League club in the Championship. I don't know if you recognise all the players that they had in their group when they were in the Championship. But they had to win the Championship, and I've taken nothing away from them. They still got to go and win games. The attitude has to be right. The attitude of the manager is brilliant. He gets uh, a lot out of them. Um, but the players that they they have the ability to uh, to attract 
um, is uh, very, very impressive. Um, still got to go and get the results. Done fantastically well in the Europa League. Uh, still got to go and get the results. So I'm taking nothing away, but you know, it's it's a combination of a lot of things that allows Nuno to uh, to, to influence and affect the, the team. And if you look through the team, they've got some outstanding players: Jimenez, Jota, Traore. Um, you know, the boys in midfield: Neves, um, Martinho, Dendonka's an international volley. You know, Conor Cody, we know a lot about the goalkeeper right the way through. You know, it's a, it's a team packed full of, of players. And I think that they would be expected to go just as good uh, this year as what they've done last year. And not surprised that they have. Um, the combination of really good players uh, and the combination of a fantastic manager who has everything from an uh, organisation, um, work ethic of the team, fitness levels of the team and the bit of quality at the end that um, that decides that takes uh, defeats to draws and draws to, to wins in tight games.